Hey VCEers, in this video I'll go through a couple of exam tips and talk about what questions have been asked in past exams. I'll go through 1. Mark breakdown and time allocation 2. Past exam question breakdown and 3. Combination questions First, the mark breakdown in your exam. You'll have 120 minutes to try and get 70 marks. That doesn't divide very well. You want to write one mark every 1.7 minutes. My advice is to aim to write one mark every 1 minute and 30 seconds. At a stretch, you can add an extra 10 seconds for each mark. Never go over 1 minute and 40 seconds per mark until you get close to the end of the exam. Students who go over time at the start end up losing a lot of marks on the bigger questions at the end. Even if you don't finish all the questions in time at the start, it's best to abandon them and come back if you have time at the end. Now, let's break down the past exams. The current legal study study design began in 2011, so there have been four past VCAR exams that are similar to what you'll do. In Unit 3, Area of Study 1, which is called Parliament and the Citizen, there's been an average of 10 marks per exam. Unit 3, Area of Study 2, the Constitution and the Protection of Rights, has averaged 16 marks worth of questions per exam. Unit 3, Area of Study 3, is called Role of the Courts in Lawmaking, and generally, there are only six to seven marks allocated to this area in the exam. As for Unit 4 content, Area of Study 1, Dispute Resolution Methods, averaged 13 marks per exam, and Area of Study 2, Court Processes and Procedures, and Engaging in Justice, averaged 19 marks per exam. While the longer 7 to 10 mark questions come from across all areas of study, they are most often come from Unit 4, Area of Study 2. Another thing to note, Increasingly, and especially in the 2014 exam, there have been what I call combination questions, where students are asked to discuss two different areas of study in the one question. This is the one thing your SACs might not prepare you for, and they're really hard to provise for. My advice is that you must do the 2014 VCAR exam as one of your practice exams, and read through the examiner's report when you're done. You need to learn by doing. Finally, the inevitable question. Should you revise more for one area of study or topic because it comes up more often in exams? Or should you revise more for areas where questions come up less often, assuming that those are the questions that will be asked this year? My answer will disappoint you. You need to study equally across the legal studies course because literally anything in the study design could come up in the exam. However, you will be studying more for some areas of study than others. The number of average exam questions asked for each area of study in past exams have reflected the amount of content in those areas of study. Unit 4, Area of Study 2 is a monster, which is why there are so many exam questions on it, whereas Unit 3, Area of Study 3, is quite small. I hope all this information helps you revise for your exam. Good luck legal studs, and as always, happy studying!